Welcome to your 35th Java tutorial. Now we were first introduced to arrays in episode 12, but that was before we were talking about objects. So I'd like to add a few more details about arrays in this video. Now we're not going to actually do any code here because in a few episodes we're going to actually do a sample app and we'll be using arrays in that example. Now arrays are a great way to organize an efficient list of things. They also give you fast access by letting you use an index position to get to any element inside the array. Now you remember here is the index which goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and each one of these are the elements. Now always keep in mind that every single element inside an array is just a variable. But what those variables are can be very different. Now in this example this is an array that holds primitive variables and you will remember that primitive variables hold absolute values. So here we're giving absolute values like 41, 111, 114. Now in this array over here this is an array that holds objects and you can see the difference here in the elements. Here we're actually declaring a new orc. So this array holds objects and this array over here holds primitive variables. But they both kind of do the same thing, right? They both hold something. And that's the key here. I almost want you to think of arrays as a line of boxes on your shelf. Each one of those boxes holds something. So for instance, box one would hold this primitive value of 41 and this one would hold uh, 111 and so on. And the same over here. This box would hold this orc and box two would hold this orc. So you can see how that works. Now the key point here to both of these arrays is every array is an object no matter what it holds. So even if it's an array of primitives, this array as a whole is treated as an object. This int array here that we defined. And the same thing over here. This object array that we called monsters is also an object. It's just what's contained inside the arrays that is different. So keep that in mind. That's a huge point that you want to remember. Arrays are always at the highest level objects, no matter what you have inside them. Now this array over here is never considered a primitive array. Again, it's an object that holds primitive variables, but we would never call the array itself at the high level a primitive array. It doesn't work that way. So that's really the key point that you need to understand and the key point of this video. Because again, we hadn't dealt with objects when we first discussed arrays in the earlier episode. So let's take a look here really quick again what we do to make an array. First, we declare the array variable, which we did in both of these. Then we create the new array and assign it the previously declared variable that we just did before. And then we can go ahead and either create objects or variables that hold primitive values. And then of course later on we can call them when we need them. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video.